So the comment section of my Dell XPS 13 review video, a lot of you asked me to compare it to the Surface Laptop 3. And since I do what you guys command, well, most of the time, I decided to make a video comparing both of these awesome laptops. Now, right off the bat, you can tell that the XPS 13 is a smaller form factor, it's using a different aspect ratio, so it doesn't need to be as tall. However, the Surface Laptop 3 is still very small. Like the Laptop 3 from Microsoft is only 2.85 pounds compared to 2.6 on the XPS 13. In terms of build quality, they both feel very solid. They're both using CNC machined aluminum, but the biggest takeaway is that you get that carbon fiber deck on the Dell XPS 13. I personally prefer this. It feels much more comfortable on your wrists, but both of them have very good build quality. Ports is interesting because they only have a few. Like you get more selection on the Surface Laptop 3 with its USB-A port, USB Type-C and audio jack, plus you get the extra USB port to charge a device on the power brick. Whereas on the Dell XPS 13, you have two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 ports and a micro SD card slot. Now, I like the variety of the Surface Laptop 3 better, but because the USB Type-C port is still not Thunderbolt 3, I'd rather just have two Thunderbolt 3 ports and a micro SD card for expansion. This will give you more options, like I've hooked this up to an external GPU and it actually performs very well, something that you can't do on the Surface Laptop 3. Now upgrades I'm not gonna get too much into because basically the only thing you can upgrade inside of these laptops is the SSD. Like this one is much easier to get inside. This one's a bit trickier, but it can be done. In terms of drive speeds, the Dell XPS 13 has the faster drive. Battery life, there's no competition. Like 15 hours of use on the Dell XPS 13 compared to only 10 on the Surface Laptop 3. Not that 10's bad, 10 is good. It's just 15 hours is incredible. Wi-Fi speeds, they're both using Wi-Fi 6, but because the Dell is using a killer card, I am finding the Wi-Fi speeds to be a tiny bit faster on the Surface Laptop 3. Both of these laptops can be opened up using one hand, which is always a great thing. In terms of display, like hands down, the Dell XPS 13 has smaller bezels, so it looks a lot cleaner. It is using a different aspect ratio, so 16 by 10, which if you're coming from a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, you'll be very familiar with, compared to three by two, on the Surface Laptop 3. Now in terms of color accuracy, brightness, color gamut, the Dell XPS 13 destroys the Surface Laptop 3. Also, you can buy the Dell with a matte display, which I have right here, which is fantastic if you don't want reflection. Now for those of you sensitive to flicker, I'm not seeing any PWM on either of these displays. At max brightness or low brightness, both of them are flicker free. So they're obviously using DC dimming. Now in terms of like security and Windows Hello, Hello. They both support it, like you have it with facial recognition with the Surface Laptop 3, whereas the Dell XPS 13, not only do you get facial recognition with Windows Hello, you also have a fingerprint scanner built into the power button. Now, if you're digging these beautiful marble skins from dbrand, there'll be a link in the description down below. But performance was very interesting because the Dell XPS 13 is a very powerful Ultrabook. And that's because Dell generally allows you to push these Ultrabooks to its full potential, to the point where you can get the CPU to go really hot and the CPU speeds to go really high. Now, I can't make a apples to apples comparison here because the Surface Laptop 3 that I have here is the i7 and the XPS 13 is the i5. But if you take a simple Mozilla compile test, you can see that the XPS 13 is very close to the i7 Surface Laptop 3. The benefit to the XPS 13 is the support for Linux distros and the ability to hook it up to an external GPU if you happen to be one of those three guys. Now in terms of heat management, um, I do find the Surface Laptop 3 to be better just because the thermals are more conservative, whereas the Dell you have three options to choose from. If you leave it on optimized mode, everything runs fine, but if you put it up to ultra performance, there's a little bit of glitchiness where the CPU tends to get a bit too hot and you have to reduce the setting in order to keep it cooler. Keyboard is the one area that I found the Dell XPS 13 to really 
Excel. Now, I know this is very subjective, but I did a bunch of typing tests on both of these laptops, and I found that I get a higher, more consistent score on the Dell XPS 13 compared to the Surface Laptop 3. Not that the keyboard on the Surface Laptop 3 is bad, it's a fantastic keyboard. I just find the one on the XPS 13 to be more tactile and have a, a better keyboard to type on in general. However, when it comes to the touchpad, the Surface Laptop 3 is better. I mean, it's just bigger, there's more space, and I also find it to be a bit more accurate. So I think this is the best way to conclude this video. If you live in Microsoft Office, you're constantly in a Word browser or doing Excel sheets, the Surface Laptop 3 makes more sense. The three by two aspect ratio is made for that. However, if you're someone who lives in a mixed world, maybe you do a little bit of document work, you work in Photoshop, you do a little bit of programming, the 16 by 10 aspect ratio of the Dell XPS 13 makes a lot more sense. I mean, in terms of features, the Dell XPS 13 won over the Surface Laptop 3 most of the time, but but it also costs $250 more. And before you pick it up, you have to ask yourself, is the better battery life, the better display, the slightly better ports and better keyboard worth it over the Surface Laptop 3? Because if it is, then this will be a better buy for you than the other one. I hope this makes a lot of sense. I hope I answered all of your questions. Let me know if you have any more in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.